Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, dear brothers and sisters, uh, today we celebrate the Feast of the Annunciation. And maybe we wonder why this Feast of Annunciation is uh, celebrated in the midst of uh, the uh, Lenten season. <clears throat> Bakit uh, dito sa a month ng uh, Marso? Well, uh, one reason is, you know, March 25, if uh, you uh, uh, count that uh, to nine months, then the ninth month and day will be uh, December 25. So uh, this then started the uh, uh, conception uh, of uh, our Lord and the uh, uh, giving of the fiat uh, or the approval of our Blessed Mother to become the Mother of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Well, what can we learn from this Feast of the Annunciation and our Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Annunciation? Well, uh, one thing that we can uh, learn from the life of our Blessed Mother is uh, that in spite of the fact that uh, she gave her fiat, her approval, to the uh, uh, will or the word of the Father that uh, she should be the mother of Jesus Christ. We know that uh, the life of our Blessed Mother was not um, spared of sufferings, of hardships that came into her life. So, for example, uh, when uh, our ble uh, blessed Lord was uh, <coughs> born and King Herod wanted to kill him, well, uh, it was a very difficult uh, uh, situation they were in because Herod uh, wanted to kill him and, in fact, he killed the uh, uh, the infants at two, two years and below. So Joseph and Mary had to flee into Egypt. So yun, paghihirap. At syempre po, yung paghihirap ng ating mahal na birhen would reach its uh, peak when our Lord Jesus Christ was uh, dragged from one court to the other, carried his cross, and to be crucified in Calvary. So you, you, you see, my dear brothers and sisters, that even though Mary was the mother of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, that uh, she also experienced, he went through a lot of sufferings. And this is what we can learn from the life of our Blessed Mother that we also in our life here in this world cannot escape sufferings, hardships, and trials. And um, it is, uh, we cannot evade uh, sufferings. For example, um, you know that uh, <clears throat> um, incident about these uh, uh, two doctors who were working and serving those uh, COVID patients in Cebu. You know, they uh, really sacrificed their time in order to serve these people. So many of them were uh, suffering from the uh, pandemic. And, uh, you know, because of this um, visits, uh, treatments uh, to these uh, patients, 
well, one of the doctors, uh, they were husband and wife. Well, she got uh, uh, tired, fatigue, and then it turned out that uh, she was tested as positive. Then, you know, after a week, the uh, wife also tested positive. And eventually, well, the husband died first, and after a few days, also the wife. And the wife didn't know even that the husband had died already. Now, the uh, children, one of the children uh, said, I cannot uh, understand uh, the will of God for my father and mother. I, uh, I really find it difficult that uh, both of them had to live and, you know, one after the other. So, uh, dear brothers and sisters, indeed in our life, um, there are things that we cannot understand and trials that come into our lives. And sometimes we, uh, our faith in the Lord is uh, shaken and s sometimes we are helpless and not to know what to say. Well, like I said a while ago, it is really part and parcel of our life, sufferings. And uh, our Lord himself, at the Garden of Gethsemane, when he was about to be arrested already, and he asked the Father, Father, take this cup of suffering away from me. And he prayed to the Father. But then, but not my will, he said, but your will be done. So, uh, did the Father take away his sufferings, his sufferings of terrible sufferings and crucifixion? No, our Lord had to go through this. And that is why, indeed, there are certain things that we cannot understand, but our Lord tells us to go on because the passage to eternal life is through suffering and death, but the passage is also to the resurrection. My dear brothers and sisters, let us uh, therefore pray, especially today, to our Blessed Mother and ask that uh, she will strengthen our faith in the Lord through our trials, difficulties, hardships. And let us remember what uh, St. Paul said, that if we suffer and die with Christ, then we will rise also as in Christ in the resurrection. Amen.